A target aid investigation gets results. Disgraceful and callous. They've let us down. Members of Congress lash out at Bay Pines after our target aid investigation shows veterans were kept in a cold building with no heat or hot water. Several members of Florida's congressional delegation are hot about veterans being kept in the cold. They say it's time to look at the job performance of the people running Bay Pines. Trouble began brewing last week when Target 8 senior investigator Steve Andrews exposed dozens of veterans were housed in a building with no heat. And now we're wondering, what's the remedy, Steve? Well, the remedy is fix the heat. But things, it, what happened there is just totally unacceptable. Now, sure, the VA may now have a plan to fix the heat and a temporary solution, but you just can't treat our veterans this way. I think it's really outrageous. It's outrageous. Congresswoman right. Kathy Castor is among That's several true. members of Congress expressing displeasure about my investigation that found since September veterans living in Building 102 at Bay Pines have had no working heat or hot water. So they've let us down here. Uh, it's not the first time, uh, but it needs to be the last time this happens. To get a hot shower, veterans have had to walk out into the cold, shower here, go back out into the cold to walk into a cold building. By phone, Congressman Charlie Crist called the conditions unconscionable. It's inhumane treatment. Um, you know, I don't know how else to put it. Congressman Vern Buchanan said this is disgraceful and unacceptable. A steam pipe carrying heat into Building 102 broke in September. Last week, I heard from employees and veterans about how cold it was inside. Congressman Gus Bilarakis on Thursday evening talked to veterans and listened to the VA's explanation. They have an explanation, they'll right. tell you, but right. I wasn't completely satisfied with the explanation. Yes, According to Bay Pines director Suzanne Klinker, attempts at repairs didn't work. You would not want to live under the conditions that they were had to live under. Uh, sir, we're doing all we can and we're focusing on the solution. The temporary solution, veterans can sleep at the hospital or get space heaters placed in their rooms. The living conditions shouldn't require that somebody has to come in and check your space heater every hour to see if it's appropriately working. Congressman Dennis Ross added, this isn't a tenement run by a slumlord. This is a taxpayer-funded facility intended to deliver on a promise we made to those who served our country. That about sums it up best. Asked last night if someone had dropped the ball, Bay Pines Director Suzanne Clicker said no. According to Congresswoman Kathy Castor, this isn't the first time Bay Pines has dropped the ball. She thinks it's fair to review whether leadership is performing at the level we expect. Really is a bipartisan rebuke, too. I mean, you got Ross, Castor, Crist, Buchanan, Bilirakis, Fine. Democrats and Republicans coming in saying, this was wrong. This is Fix not it. a partisan issue. Right. This, these are our veterans yeah. we're talking about mm. here. Thank you, Steve. Sure. And if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call our Target 8 helpline. It is 1-800-338-0808.